there. I'm Diplodocus. And when I walked by, the ground probably shook like a mini earthquake. Here are three facts that might stretch your imagination. Number one. My neck was longer than a school bus. Actually, it stretched over 20 feet. That's like stacking four dads on top of each other. I could munch on tree leaves without even moving my feet. Number two, I had a tail like a whip that might have cracked louder than a race car. Some scientists think it could hit faster than the speed of sound. If you heard it crack, you'd probably think a lightning bolt just landed. Number three, my head was tiny compared to my body, smaller than a loaf of bread. It's like having a hamster head on a school bus body. Good thing I didn't need to wear hats. Hi there, I'm Ichthyosaurus, and I look like a dolphin, but I am not even close. Here come three facts that'll have you blinking in disbelief. Number one, I have huge eyes, bigger than a soccer ball. No kidding, they are the size of grapefruits or dinner plates, perfect for hunting in the deep, dark ocean. Basically, I have built-in underwater flashlights. Number two, I give birth to live babies. Just like dolphins or people. I do not lay eggs instead. I have babies that swim ready to go, tail first, like slippery little submarines. Number three, I am shaped like a torpedo, built for speed. My body is so streamlined, I can probably beat a modern dolphin in a swim race. I was the sports car of the ancient seas. Hi there, I'm Iguanodon, and I had one of the weirdest hands in dinosaur history. These next facts might poke holes in everything you thought you knew. Number one, I had a spike instead of a thumb. Yep, imagine giving someone a thumbs up and accidentally poking a hole in the air. I probably used it to fight off predators or dig up tough plants. Number two, I could walk on two legs or four. If I wanted to sprint, I'd run like a giant ostrich. But when I was just chilling, I'd drop down and walk on all fours like a massive prehistoric cow. Number three, my mouth was like a salad chopper. I had a hard beak to bite leaves and rows of teeth in the back to grind them up. My mouth was kind of like a dino version of scissors in a blender. I'm Compsignathus, and I could probably sneak through your kitchen without knocking over a spoon. These tiny facts might run away from you if you don't keep up. Number one. I was only about three feet long. That's like your pet cat putting on a raptor costume. I could hide behind a backpack and still have room to stretch. Number two. I was super fast. Like a little green blur. With my long legs and light body, I could chase bugs through ferns like a prehistoric squirrel on espresso. Number three, I could jump like a grasshopper with rocket shoes. I wasn't just fast, I was bouncy. My strong back legs let me leap over roots, rocks, and anything in my way. Imagine a mini dinosaur doing parkour through the jungle. Hi there, I'm Dilophosaurus, and I had one of the coolest heads in the whole Jurassic world. Hold on to your eyebrows, these facts might knock them right off. Number one, I had two bony crests on my head, like twin mohawks. They weren't for fighting, more like a fashion statement. I basically invented dino headwear before it was cool. Number two, I was one of the first big predators ever. I was the big boss before T-Rex even existed. I was lean and I could run super fast and I was way more stylish. Number three, I hunted in packs with dino friends. That's right, we weren't lone hunters. I teamed up with other Dilophosaurs to chase down snacks. Imagine a squad of Mohawk dinos sneaking through the jungle, just like a prehistoric mission team.
Hello! I'm Pteranodon, and I was the king of the prehistoric skies with giant wings. Hold on to your snacks, because these sky-high facts might blow your hat off. Number one, my wings could stretch over 20 feet wide. That's like a small airplane. I was one of the biggest flying reptiles ever. My wings were enormous and very light. I didn't even flap too much. I just soared over ancient oceans using warm air currents. Number two, I didn't live alone. Oh no, pteranodons like me nested in huge cliff-top colonies with tons of others. We laid big eggs in sandy nests, and everyone had to keep an eye out for egg snatchers. Number three, I had no teeth at all. Yup, not a single one. Just a long, pointy beak, perfect for snatching slippery fish right out of the water. Hi there, I'm Tyrannosaurus Rex, the king of the dinosaurs. When I stomped through the forest, everyone else ran and hid. All because I was really big and almost always very hungry. Ready for some facts that will knock your tail off? Let's go. Number one, my teeth were huge and could crush trees. Each of my teeth was about 12 inches long. That's like a banana size each, but sharp and deadly. My bite was so strong I could crush thick wood like snapping a branch. I didn't even chew, just crack and gulp. Number two, my arms were small but super strong. People laugh at my little arms, but guess what? Each one could lift over 400 pounds, about the same as a motorcycle. They helped me hold still my prey, push myself up when I needed, and even balance while I chased down my snacks. Number three, I was huge and ate like a monster. I could grow up to 40 feet long and weigh over 15,000 pounds, heavier than two cars stacked on the top of each other. And in one meal, I could eat more meat than a lion eats in a whole week. That's like eating an entire cow for lunch. Good thing I didn't live near farms. Hi there! I'm Stegosaurus. The dinosaur with plates on my back and spikes on my tail. I was big, slow, and peaceful. But I had some of the coolest body parts ever. Stick around. I'm about to drop three dino-sized facts. Number one, my back had giant plates. I had two rows of huge leaf-shaped plates running down my back. Some of them were as tall as a backpack. They weren't for armor. Scientists think I used them to show off to other stegosaurs and maybe to regulate my body temperature, just like my own solar panel. I was a mix of dino style and smart design. Number two, my brain was the size of a walnut. Yep. Even though I was as long as a bus and weighed as much as a small truck, my brain was only about the size of a lime. But hey, I didn't need a giant brain to eat plants. Swing my tail and live my best Jurassic life. Number three. My tail was like a weapon that I used for defense. That's right. I had four long spikes at the end of my tail. If something tried to attack me, I could swing it hard to protect myself and scare off predators. Scientists even gave those tail spikes a fun name. The Thagomizer. Hi there! I'm Triceratops, the dinosaur with the famous horns and a giant frill. I was big, bold, and built like a prehistoric tank. Stick close. I've got three mega cool facts coming your way. Number one, I had three horns on my face. Two long ones above my eyes and one shorter one on my nose. I could use them to defend myself against big predators and to show off to other triceratops. Some of my horns were over three feet long. 
That's taller than your whole arm. Number two. My frill was like a built-in crown. The big bony frill at the back of my head helped to protect my neck and regulate my body heat. It was wide and strong and had super cool patterns, kind of like a dinosaur shield. Number three. I was a plant-eating powerhouse. I had over 800 teeth in my mouth and they all kept growing back. I used them to slice through tough plants like palms or ferns. I even had a beak at the front of my mouth to snip leaves before eating them. Hello, I'm Velociraptor, the smartest little hunter of the dino world. I was fast, sneaky, and full of feathery style. Get ready for three awesome raptor secrets that will leave you flapping with excitement. Number one. I had a very big brain for my size. For such a small dinosaur, I had a pretty smart brain. I could think fast, solve problems, and maybe even plan sneaky moves. That's why some scientists say I was one of the brainiest dinosaurs around. Number two. I had feathers on my arms and tail. That's right. I had real feathers, mostly on my arms and long tail. I couldn't fly like a bird, but my feathers helped me stay balanced when I ran, and maybe even helped me look cool to other raptors. Number three, I wasn't very big. Forget the movies. In real life, I was only about the size of a turkey. That made me super fast and super sneaky. I could zip through forests without making a sound. And if I wanted to catch a bigger animal, I teamed up with other raptors. Stegosaurus Triceratops Tyrannodon Dilophosaurus Iguanodon Diplodocus Ichthyosaurus Comsognathus Tyrannosaurus Velociraptor <laughs> 